background. See, the sensor start adjusting its fingers using that same sensing mechanism to grasp it. That's bringing it up to Lewis. Because of the too many crosses, I guess. Mm. Please put the this simulator so I, I film it. No, I step it in. This week in Taipei promises to be very interesting for robotics fans. Robot, the Robotics Association of Taiwan, is hosting the Taipei International Robot Show. And with over 60 academic and industrial developers gathering from all over the world, the show stands to be an exciting event. Fear's commitment to the development of extremely compact form factors such as the Pico ITX has placed the company at the cutting edge of technological progress within the robotics industry. The Pico ITX board is fast becoming an essential component in the development of modern robots. Its low heat and power efficient properties are perfect for the extremely small space constraints of robotic designs. And as the x86 architecture supports both Windows and Linux operating systems, the Pico ITX makes it easy for both hobbyists and developers to develop new software applications. Over the years, robotics has been attracting scores of enthusiasts, and for someone looking to build their own robot, this Lynx Motion Johnny 5 kit is a great starting point. The kit is based on a VIA EPIA PX10,000G Pico ITX board and comes with all the necessary devices and software to program your own robot. While the Johnny 5 is an excellent starter kit for hobbyists, the Vecna Battlefield Extraction Assist robot, affectionately known as BEAR, is pushing military robotics to new heights of intelligence and mobility. Powered by a VIA EPIA Mini ITX board, BEAR has been designed to rescue military personnel in combat situations. He can lift up to 600 pounds with his powerful upper body and is controlled by hydraulics with dynamic balancing behavior to navigate buildings, landscapes, and even stairs. The beauty of the VIA boards used in these robots is that the remarkable heat dissipation combined with a compact form factor, robust performance, and low power consumption provide a stable and reliable environment 
with a central operating computer. No doubt about it, Veer's ultra-compact Pico ITX boards are fast becoming the backbone of modern robotics. Well, the actor is captured on video, and then the video is analyzed by our computer software, and the actor's performance is used to drive any facial rig. The client gets back animation curves on the rig. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> well, I think that they have a long way to go. I've seen better. It sucks. Whew. I mean, really? Can, can we just skip that question? They really, really are bad. Not good. No, it's up coming. And what if I move? You can get to the simulator as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is also, you know, see, we can move it and during the same time we can capture the motion. I think it's enough.